my friends. Today I want to talk to you about my Max Air fan and its green light of death. If you have a Max Air fan, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, it'll run fine for a while and then it'll beep, beep, beep. A green light will come on and it'll stop. And that's it. You can't do anything until you reset it by disconnecting the power somehow and then reconnecting it. So if you go online and look, uh, one of the reasons that they state for this is inconsistent voltage. Well, my voltage is fine. It's consistent. It's within the standards. The other thing that happens is the circuit board goes bad on them. They get a little moisture in them and they quit working. Well, circuit board, if you look online, they run between 63 and a hundred dollars to replace it. I was watching a Foresty Forest video and saw that he replaced his with a DC motor controller. I decided I'd do that. So this is how it works. I've got a couple I've got a couple of switches here. Uh reverses the motor in and out like that and then I've got a a potentiometer here that'll go from low to high works really well one of the hardest parts was modifying these switch plates to make it work I'll give you a look inside here to show you what the back side looks like. Okay. That's the controller there. I got it off of eBay for $16. I'll put a link down in the description to the exact one that I found that works. Took a little bit to figure that out. I didn't want to have to pull the ceiling trim to run my wiring up uh, through the ceiling and then have to recock and everything. So I used just that little cord, a cord hider here to run it across the ceiling and then down into this. Worked out pretty well for me. Now, I'm not an electrician or anything, so this is not a how-to video. There are plenty of good videos by people that know what they're doing <laughs> that you can watch and get a better idea if you want to. But I'm very happy with it. The problem with the people replace the circuit boards, if you read on the forums, and then the same thing just keeps happening. It's a, it's a design flaw with the circuit boards. I also saw a video where people treated the circuit boards with some kind of waterproofing. Uh, it just seems like a lot of work to me. And uh, this way, you're just completely eliminating those electronics. And I'd rather be old school and be able to do it with uh, uh, switches anyway. So I'm kind of more of an analog guy than uh, electronics. And the less electronics I can have in my camper, the better off I am. And as far as moisture, you know, if you have a camper, especially if you have a cargo camper like I do, you're going to end up with moisture. So I just figured this was the best scenario. And again, like I say, can't go wrong there this is the culprit right here just cut that off and wired up the controller 
controller has four wires, two go into the motor and two go into the power. So it's pretty easy to figure out. That one's going in the trash. All right, friends, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, how about giving me a thumbs up? I'd be happy to see any comments that you might have also. And um, I'll end it by saying thanks for watching.